Hello, I'm Chuck Long, and on this edition of the Entertainment Outlook, Folks are buzzing about the Nashville Rep's upcoming season, which includes a Pulitzer Prize-nominated contemporary work, a noted classic, a world premiere of a new play, and a hugely popular musical that has it all. Murder, sex, scandal, and love. Here to tell us all about it, the Rep's artistic director, Renee Copeland. I can't believe it's been a year, and here you I are again. I know. That sounds like an awesome season. It we certainly do does to me. <laughs> I want to go. Yay, yeah, yay. a really great lineup. So we're going to talk oh, about your entire lineup. Yes. But before we do... We always like to do a recap of the past season because it was an exciting season. Kind of give me some highlights. It was. My goodness, we had such a great time last year. We worked with great actors, great shows. We opened with Sweeney Todd, which we would brought back from a few years before. Um, uh, one of the most exciting things we did was called The Whipping Man, and we had the wonderful Eddie George as a part of that cast. And getting to work with him, he's a fabulous football player, but turns out he's a fabulous actor, so we had a great time. And we're seeing a little bit of that, that right yeah. now. What, going in there, was, was Eddie... A little nervous about doing the show? Was no, no I, I would say that Eddie has things under control most uh -huh. of the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, he's a really, he's really a serious, he's quite serious about his art form, and it was great to work with him and get a chance to see him really, uh, really working it through and being uh, really, making really imaginative and smart choices. It was great. Now, on a show like that that a lot of people might not have been as familiar right. with, I would just assume it helped having a name like Eddie draw it, some people. Oh, absolutely. And I think, a, I think a lot of people probably might have come to the theater who might not otherwise have come and I I'm, and, and Eddie enjoys that too that, yeah. that there's a way that he can help bring people into the theater and yeah. you might be doing a little bit that this coming season too well, we certainly hope we'll bring a lot of people into the theater exactly. who've never come before. <laughs> that's right. Well, and in fact, one of the shows that's coming up, and we'll talk about it uh, as far as when we preview the whole season, but um, you're going to be doing Chicago, but mm -hmm. this, a couple of years ago you did Cabaret. We did Cabaret, which was a wonderful success, success for us, and it was written by uh, Kendra and Ebb, the same guys who wrote Chicago, which is coming up in the next season. And one of the things that you do when you're working on a musical is you sort of fall in love a little bit with the musical and the people who wrote it, and, you know, we just felt like, oh, the time is going to come when we need to get to Chicago as well, just because we really enjoy their work. And, and we're seeing that now in, um, when, in Cabaret, Janina Littleton, uh -huh. uh, David Compton, uh -huh. and they're going to be working again, to, uh, <laughs> get, again this year together. Uh, they will in yeah. another show. Yeah, yes, so in that's a straight play. It's really going to be very exciting. Yeah, so we'll talk about that. So let's just get into uh, this upcoming season. You've got a really terrific lineup, oh, and you're kicking you it so. off with Rapture Blister Burn. Yeah, yeah, it's a contemporary play just nominated for a Pulitzer Prize, written by a spectacular female playwright named Gina Gianfrido. Uh, she's written a lot for like Law and Order and Law and Order Criminal Intent, yeah. and I, that's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm so glad. And she's a great playwright, and um, so having the opportunity to sort of this play is really hot right now. It just came off a really, uh, really great run in Chicago, the Goodman Theater. It was on Broadway a couple years ago, uh, and we're just really. excited excited to get it here in Nashville. And we just saw the preview start September 3rd mm -hmm. and the regular run September 5th through the 19th. Right. So that is just so right around the corner. It is. So get make your plans now. now. Yeah, Amanda Card, Ruth Cordell, great. Shannon Hopp is in that. An incredible. David yes. Ian Lee, Cheryl White. Wow, what a cast. It's great. Okay, let's talk about the next one. Uh, Rosencrantz <laughs> and Gildern, Gil, I always say this wrong, Gildenstern, Gildenstern. Yes. are dead. Yes. Tom Stopper. Oh, well, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead, or RNG, <laughs> if you don't want to say Guildenstern. <laughs> um, it's a wonderful classic play by Tom Stoppard. It was actually uh, on Broadway in 68. It won Tony for Best Play and all the, you know, a bunch of awards, and it's become a real classic. But most people now think of it, they know the title, but they don't really know what it's about so much and don't realize what a funny play it is. And, you know, even Stoppard writes that even though it's kind of uh, an interesting, weird, quirky play, it's first and foremost funny. So uh -huh. I have some really funny people in the cast. You I'll really do. Oh, my gosh. Matt Garner, <laughs> Patrick Kramer. Uh, John Malden, Jeremy Maxwell, Tom, uh, Patrick Waller, Patrick you, Wall Shalane yeah. is and in there Shalane, too. Yeah, yeah. So no I got one. Patrick Waller and Matt Garner playing uh, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. That is They're going to be awesome. so fun. Yeah. Preview start October 8th, uh -huh. the regular run, October 10th through the 31st. So that's going to be a terrific run. Uh, if you're a fan of Hamlet or not, we or hear not. you're going to laugh at this one. Yeah, so, we kind of yeah. makes fun of Hamlet a little <laughs> yes, bit. So you should right. come and see it. <laughs> oh, can hardly wait for that, really. <laughs> and then you're going to be bringing Christmas Story back with we a little new twist this year. Yeah, well, we have a new cast this year. This year, yeah. which is both good news and sad news, because of course we loved our actors so much. But we, uh, uh, sort of a group decision was, uh, I think maybe it's time for to reboot reboot with a new group. And uh -huh. I was sad to lose them, but on the other hand.
can. It is an interesting uh, way to sort of reinvigorate it, and uh, this will be our seventh season. And it's become a tradition for people to go. And so, but really now is. you will see in the cast you have, you always had a great cast. Yeah, You've got yeah, a terrific yeah. cast. Megan Murphy Chambers, Derek Whitaker, Patrick Waller, Bobby Wyckoff. What a terrific cast. Couldn't be happier. Really. And yeah. that starts uh, November 27th in the preview. The run starts November 28th. All right. Good Monsters. So excited about this. Nate Epper wrote it. He did. This is a play that came out of our Ingram New Works Festival, not this most recent one, but the year before. Uh, Nate uh, works with us as a playwright in residence, and um, so I'm always uh, got my eye tuned for his, what he what is he doing that I'm interested in putting on the stage. And when we did this one at the festival, the audience response to this is so it's such a moving and disturbing and thought provoking uh, piece of work. And the audience, the conversation after hearing the reading was just uh, so lively, and everyone's argued about all kinds of things about it. And I just thought, oh, this is the kind of thing I like doing on our stage, something that really makes people get engaged with the story and really have a lot to talk about when it's over. And I think this is one they're going to be talking about. I think it so really too. is. A lot yeah. of buzz behind that one. Incredible cast again. Megan yep. Murphy Chambers, David Compton, Jenny, Jenny Littleton, Littleton, as we were men yeah. mentioning, and yeah. Nate McIntyre playing Frank, one of the leads in there. So that starts uh, February 11th, previews for Good Monsters. Mark that on your calendar. Love Nate Epler's work. Just one of yeah. the best writers we've yeah. got. Chicago, the musical. Uh, uh, what, what can he say? It's just, <laughs> it's so much fun. It's been on my list forever. I, now that I've done Cabaret and once I've finished Chicago, I, I can probably die happy. But um, <laughs> it's just a, uh, it is just one of those musicals that when you come to the theater, you will leave humming those tunes and it's funny and it's also kind of dark and twisted, which I don't know what that says about me, but, <laughs> but that's one like of the things that. I love about it. <laughs> and, you know, it really sort of mocks this whole idea that celebrity is so important to us culturally and um, that the justice system is something like show business and it's truly, truly magnificent. We really love it. What a cast again. Yeah. Je Jeff da uh, Davin, uh -huh. uh, Corey Maxwell, uh, Martha Wilk Wilkinson is playing Roxy. Yeah. Oh, Jennifer Whitcomb <laughs> Oliva. I mean, terrific yeah, cast. I don't want Sean Knight. Great <laughs> cast in there. Mm -hmm. March 17th, mark that on your calendars, Renee. We just have about 30 seconds left, but Ingram New Works coming up in May. Yeah, absolutely. And honestly, this has become something that every year gets better and better and more exciting and more exciting. It's a great place to see brand new plays being born and hear great actors reading great new plays. So come on out and get involved in what happens when theater gets born. Wow. Mark that on your yeah. calendars. You are the best. As oh, always, we love you. it when you are here. <laughs> I love being here. Make sure you mark those on your calendar. Get your tickets now because, of course, they go fast. NashvilleRep.org is where you want to go for those. So, again, we're going to be there seeing all these. Good. A lot of new, exciting works coming. Mark it on your calendars. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for this edition of Out and About Today. We'll see you next time. Good night.